Hi, my name is Celia Peachy and I'm here with the beautiful Anne Malone and we're here at Alchemy once again. So, Anne, what can I say about you? Anne's love for music, yoga and meditation has led her to learn with many wonderful teachers. To name but a few, I think uh, Brandon Bays, Shivarea, who we all know and love, uh, Jai Utal and Chris James. James. Yes, Chris James. Anne has combined her training with sacred sound, the journey, and uh, the shamanic ceremony, which has led you to a really unique musical exploration, hasn't it, Anne? Yes, yes. When did you first realise your voice was this powerful healing tool? Um, well, I've always been aware of the power of music upon the human emotions. Mm -hmm. For example, when we hear a beautiful love song, it touches us, yes, and uh, that I have been aware all my life because I've been singing most of my life. But it was when I trained with Chris James and trained with Sacred Sound that I really saw the power of uh, music and singing and toning mm -hmm. when it's sung and played from a place of love, a heart space. And uh, that was very, very revealing for me. And when I learned the technique of toning from Chris James, I was able to then really give my heart mm. into that sound, that pure sound. It's almost getting inside the sound, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a lovely way of putting it, yeah. Is it through meditation, is it through your meditation process that you actually find your compositions? Yes. Sometimes it's after a meditation or during a meditation, mm -hmm. I'll get inspired. Because right. I really believe that all of these, these gifts that we receive are our gifts. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a gift if, if a song comes to me. So sometimes a song will come to me or a piece of music will come to me in meditation. And then other times I can be walking down the street, I can be on the underground, I can be, you know, just washing my clothes oh, no. and, and something will happen and you'll think oh my god here's another song and it's it you know you it's it's the power of the subconscious yeah. isn't it really I, I have the same thing i pick up signs symbols and inspirations how it makes life so magical yes yeah because you it? could just be drying the dishes you mm. know or, or like doing a mundane yeah. task and all of a sudden a tune <laughs> or a beat yeah i think it's keeping that sense of playfulness yeah. which and you you definitely oh, have you. which is yeah. such a, a brilliant quality yeah. your music is taking you on an incredible journey from dublin uh, to the tropical sounds of Vera Cruz in Mexico. You gigged at the Mean Fiddler in London and played at the Hang, uh, played the Hang on Skiros. Yes, yes. Tell us about your most memorable moments. Oh, okay. Well, probably one of the most memorable moments was when I lived in Mexico and I got the great, what, like, it's hard to describe what it is, it's not like a gift, but it's a, an opportunity, it's everything, you know, right. I, someone introduced me to the indigenous tribe right. of shamans uh, in a really remote part of Mexico, right up the top of the mountains, and I got to work with them and live with them for a week, and uh, I saw how they made, yeah, it was really amazing, Gosh. and I saw how they made all the instruments, they make the instruments from stones, rocks, shells, bits of wood, and the most amazing thing is that all of their instruments mimic sounds of nature. So some of the, the whistles that they would make from rock and wood would mimic the local bird sound. And wow. it was just amazing. And the, it's the first time I saw the rain stick as well. Oh, and I saw how they made them. And then we had ceremony, you know, where we really went into, as you said earlier, really go inside the music. And, and that was an amazing week for me. It, it really made me appreciate the shamanic aspect mm. of music, you know, that great love and respect for the elements. Exactly, and that, that symbiotic relationship with nature, because uh, as soon as you lose that, you lose everything. And so to be inside that sound with nature, oh, I can imagine yes. that was that was phenomenal. one amazing yeah. experience yeah. to have. What yeah. a blessing. Yes, it was a blessing. Um, I believe you've written for the BBC. Yes. What was that yeah, for? Yeah, that was another lovely gift. 
um, they commissioned me to write three pieces of music to support um, a guided meditation, well three guided meditations. So I worked in conjunction with their presenter for uh, the big weekend right uh, and uh, yeah they 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 um they they made a chill out tent uh -huh. so as part of the big weekend they had a tent that was dedicated to chill out you know mm -hmm. people could just come along lie <laughs> down they had all these big bean bags and they had you trees. soothing them into, oh, their, yeah, into meditation yeah. and they had headphones lying within the trees the made up trees oh. people could just come along pick oh, a headphones put them on and lie down on a bean bag and just listen to this guided meditation so it was a lot of hang music vocal toning it was a lovely project really wow. gorgeous yeah yeah very good you have a wonderful voice um where has your inspiration come from Wow, well, I think it must be definitely the Celtic roots, mm -hmm. definitely, um, you know, growing up in Ireland and seeing amazing uh, vocalists without any instrumentation, just singing from the heart. And that was my first real inspiration. I thought, what an amazing thing to do without any support to be able to convey emotions, the concept of the song, mm. you know, the voice, the intonation, everything. I thought that's like a one man band there. <laughs> wow. And that was a big inspiration, yes. It's uh, it's lovely when people really bond with where they come from in, in, in that way. And also seeing someone express themselves so sincerely is yeah. so attractive. It is, yeah. I believe your recent hang music album, Tender Lullaby, got you into the top 10 iTunes and was nominated for an NME award. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. What doors has that open for you? Well, it's really, it's been a very, very beautiful journey experience because it's made me realise how people, how open people are to the simplicity of heart song, mm -hmm. of heart sound. Uh, the hang is a very, very simple, very, very beautiful instrument and when it's played from the heart, it just goes straight in there because there's, there's no reference that people have to the hang music because it's a new instrument. So it's almost like a blank canvas when people hear mm. it and when it's played from the heart, it just brings people into a newness. Mm. So the result of that is that between two of the tracks that are on YouTube, there have been a million hits between two wow. of them. 600,000 for one and 400,000 for another. More or less. You're a popular one. <laughs> popular, yeah. That's really great. Yeah, it's, 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 it's nice great. that this music's being, um, being accepted into yes. such commercial world. Absolutely, exactly. This Brilliant. Is, yeah. What an achievement. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. And it's also proof that there is a great thirst. You know, people, if like organic food, like all of this life that we lead, if we have it in a very simple and organic format, people really recognize it and, and they want it. Well, it's coming back to our true nature, isn't it, once again, and not bombarding our senses and actually tapping into them and, and appreciating exactly what they do, which is absorb beautiful sounds created yeah. by people like you. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, fabulous and fascinating. Um, Anne has a regular class at Alchemy, so just in case you're wanting to get close to this wonderful woman, you can. It's on Tuesdays at 4.15, yes. is that right? Yes. And then every last Saturday, every first Saturday <laughs> of the month <laughs> at 8 o'clock here at Alchemy in uh, the stables, the Camden. And tonight, Anne has a concert with Tim Wheater. Tell us a little bit about that before we go. Yeah, well, um, it's been a dream of mine because I've always, I've sometimes I've sat and thought I'd love to go out tonight. It's Saturday night. Uh -huh. I'd love to go out. I'd love to listen to some really nice music. But I've always thought, well, I don't want to go down the pub. I don't want to go down. No. You know, <laughs> and, I, and I just thought, oh, I really love. So this is it. This is the birth of people being able to come to Alchemy Live mm -hmm. and hear beautiful music in a really beautiful environment. And that's the essence of Alchemy Live. Every first 
uh, Saturday of the month. Every first Saturday <laughs> of the month. <laughs> From 8 o'clock until 10. And tonight we have the wonderful Tim Wheater mm -hmm. to start the ball rolling. And then we've got Russell Stone from Atma. And then in the new year we're going to have Lucinda Drayton from Bliss. 100,000 wow. Angels Live. You've got to hear it at least once in a lifetime. Exactly. It's amazing. I'm, I've got lots more really, really wonderful, heartfelt musicians and singers. A whole repertoire yeah. is lined up. Yeah. So you know where to come, and it's alchemy. Yeah. Alchemy you, you come here, and you get higher naturally yes. of the music, and you leave that way. Yes. That's the beautiful thing yeah. about it. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much, thank Anne. Thank you. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you.